The desert winds of the Iranian plateau whisper secrets. Secrets buried for millennia beneath dust, stone, and silence. In this ancient land, cradle of empires and crossroads of civilizations, lies a genetic enigma so profound it defies everything we thought we knew about human migration, empire building, and the very origin of the Iranian people. For centuries, historians pieced together Iran's story through ruins, myths, and manuscripts. But beneath it all, beneath Persepolis, beneath the Zagros Mountains, beneath the soil once soaked by the blood of kings, was a code, not a cipher of language, but of life. DNA frozen in time, sleeping inside the bones of forgotten ancestors. And now, for the first time, scientists have cracked it. What they discovered was not a single origin, not a simple story, but a vast, intricate web of migrations, invasions, and integrations stretching back over 10,000 years. A revelation that challenges the textbook version of Persian identity and rewrites the early chapters of civilization itself. Who were the first people to walk these lands? What bloodlines flow through modern Iran's 88 million hearts? And how did ancient DNA finally unlock this incredible truth? The answers lie deeper than anyone imagined. And what you're about to hear changes everything. Stretching from the shores of the Caspian Sea to the heat-blistered dunes of the Lut Desert, Iran's landscape has witnessed the rise and fall of empires for over 10,000 years. From the Elamites to the Achaemenids, from Alexander's conquest to the Islamic Golden Age, this land has always been at the center of history's great turning points. And yet, beneath the towering achievements of Persian civilization, a mystery has quietly endured. Who truly were the first people to settle this land? Ancient texts speak of Aryan migrations. Some scholars trace origins to the Indo-European steppes. Others suggest far older, local roots, inhabitants whose bloodlines predate the invention of writing itself. Until recently, theories clashed competing for dominance in the absence of hard biological proof. But the scale of the question extends far beyond Iran's borders. This is not just about a nation. This is about the genetic crossroads of Eurasia. Iran has always been a corridor, a gateway between East and West, a place where nomads, traders, warriors, and prophets passed through, settled, mixed, and vanished into history. To understand the true origins of the Iranian people is to uncover a key chapter in the human story itself. But until ancient DNA could speak, all we had were fragments and shadows. That silence is now broken. It began with a tomb, silent, forgotten, and half swallowed by the earth in the Zagros Mountains. In 2015, Archaeologists excavating a remote burial site near the village of Tepe Abdul Hossein stumbled upon something remarkable. Skeletal remains dating back nearly 10,000 years. Perfectly preserved in the cool mountain soil, the bones belong to one of the region's earliest known settlers, a woman. Young, healthy, and carrying within her the ancient code of a people long lost to time. Forensic analysis confirmed her Neolithic origin, but what made this discovery groundbreaking wasn't just her age. It was what her DNA held, undisturbed for millennia. This was a time capsule, unaltered by modern migrations or dynastic upheavals. For the first time, scientists had a pure genetic fingerprint of prehistoric Iran. Around the same time, other sites across the Iranian plateau like Ganj Dara, Segabi, and the legendary necropolis of Shari Sukte, yielded more remains. Each bone, each tooth, each strand of mitochondrial DNA brought a new piece of the puzzle. Together, they whispered of forgotten migrations, unknown bloodlines, 
and an origin story that stretched far beyond the boundaries of modern maps. The question now wasn't if these samples could tell the truth, but how much truth they were hiding. Led by geneticists from the University of Copenhagen, in collaboration with Iranian archaeologists and international institutions, the investigation began to unfold like an epic scientific thriller. Extracting viable DNA from ancient remains is notoriously difficult. The hot, dry climate of the Middle East often destroys genetic material. But against the odds, samples from sites like Ganj Deray and Wesme Cave yielded enough preserved DNA to begin sequencing. Using state-of-the-art next-generation sequencing technology, researchers reconstructed full genomes from individuals who lived as early as 8000 BCE. The data was then compared with thousands of ancient and modern genomes from across Europe, the Caucasus, South Asia, and the Near East. The results were astonishing. Patterns emerged, some expected, others completely disruptive. What they found suggested that the Iranian plateau was not merely a passage for Indo-European migrants. It was a genetic hearth, a cradle, not just a corridor. But the investigation wasn't easy. Political tensions restricted access to certain regions. Some samples degraded during transport, and early results raised more questions than answers. The team needed more data, more bodies, more fragments, more time. Yet every obstacle only sharpened the scientists' resolve. They were no longer just tracing a migration pattern. They were unearthing a lost identity one buried beneath empires, legends, and centuries of assumption. What came next would shake the foundations of everything we thought we knew. When the genomes were finally decoded, the truth emerged with shocking clarity. The ancient individuals from Ganj Dara, living over 10,000 years ago, were genetically distinct from the early Anatolian farmers to the west and the Proto-Indo-European steppe herders to the north. Their DNA revealed a lineage completely unique, an isolated branch of early humans who had settled the Iranian plateau during the Neolithic, evolving separately from other Eurasian populations. These were not invaders nor migrants. They were originals, a founding population. Yet their legacy did not end there. As the genetic web expanded, scientists discovered evidence of multiple waves of interaction. Around 6000 BCE, new genetic elements appeared, traces from the Caucasus, the Levant, and even Central Asia. Later, during the Bronze Age, DNA from the Yamnaya steppe people, considered the primary vector of Indo-European languages, began to mix into the gene pool. But here's the revelation. Despite these layers, the genetic core remained intact. Over 60% of the modern Iranian genome still traces back to that early Neolithic population from the Zagros. The so-called Aryan migration was not a replacement. It was a fusion, a convergence of cultures, not a conquest. And with this, the myth of a singular Aryan origin began to unravel. What emerged instead was a rich, multi-threaded story of resilience, integration, and genetic continuity, one written not by conquerors, but by farmers, artisans, and families who built civilization in place and never left. Imagine the highlands of western Iran 10,000 years ago, rolling hills covered in wild grasses, herds of gazelle moving across open fields, and small human settlements clinging to riverbanks. These were the first farmers of the Zagros. They domesticated goats, cultivated barley, and built circular homes from mud brick. Isolated by mountains and deserts, they thrived in relative genetic solitude, developing a culture and identity rooted deeply in this land. Then, slowly, change began to creep in. Around 6000 BCE, traders from the south brought obsidian ceramics, and new ideas. Farmers from the Levant introduced wheat and sheep. From the north, 
Groups carrying Caucasus ancestry arrived, bringing metallurgy and new burial practices. These people didn't invade. They merged. Marriages were made, customs exchanged, languages blended. Then came the Great Shift. Around 3000 BCE, as the Bronze Age exploded across Eurasia, steppe tribes moved in from the north. Tall, mobile, and warlike, they carried the Yamnaya DNA and early Indo-European speech. But unlike in Europe, where they replaced entire populations, in Iran, they became one thread in a vast tapestry. Their genes mingled with those already there, layered, absorbed, and transformed. Over millennia, this fusion created a new people. Not one origin, many. And through all the turmoil, conquest, empire, invasion, the core genetic signature of those early Zagros settlers endured. Their legacy wasn't erased. It was amplified. They didn't vanish into history. They became its foundation. Today, as nearly 88 million Iranians move through bustling cities, ancient villages, and sacred landscapes, few realize the genetic story they carry within them. A story not of conquest or purity, but of survival, fusion, and incredible continuity. The DNA speaks louder than myth. It tells us that Iran is not the product of a single migration or a single race, but of thousands of years of interaction between the mountains and the steppes, the deserts and the rivers, the farmers and the wanderers. It reveals a people who were never defined by a single moment, but shaped by layers of deep time. In a world often divided by narratives of separation, this discovery reminds us that identity is built through connection, through memory, ancestry, and the silent language of our genes. The ancient DNA has finally spoken, and what it says rewrites history, not just for Iran, but for all of us. Because in the strands of that double helix, we see the truth. Our pasts are not straight lines, but vast and tangled roots twisting through time and soil, binding us more closely than we ever imagined. If this journey through time fascinated you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and explore our other deep dive discoveries. There's a whole world of hidden stories waiting just beneath the surface.